I told you that through this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you minor sins and your sins. Allah will forgive your own sins and your uses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins that you did in secret and your sins that you did in, in open. And sallallahu alayhi wa sallam just went on and then Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallam started to explain uh, Sayyidina al-Abbas the salah. So before we explain the salah, the same hadith which comes in an authentic narration the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also gifted to his cousin which is Jafar ibn Abi Talib. His cousin when he came from Abyssinia Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hugged him because they were connected to Abyssinia when they came back. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hugged him and the hadith says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kissed his cousin in between his eyes, on his forehead basically in between his eyes and he told him, let me not give you something, let me grant you something, let me give you something that will bring bad tidings to you and then Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also mentioned the same salah. And that's why the Bukha, they mentioned in the fifth books, they say that someone that hears about this ahadith and this type of salah and he does not perform it, it is someone that does not want good for himself. Because so much sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the glad tidings that sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallam mentioned, Allah forgive your minor sins, your major sins, the sins that you did, your old sins, your new sins, sins that you did in secret, sins that you did in open. Allah just forgives. And who asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us? And that's why they say, it's recommended to do it, you know, at least once in your lifetime. And some of them ask, you should do it actually, they say, at least once a week, if you can't, once a month, if you can't, once a year, at least once, you must do it, so that is. And when we do it, if we do it on, so we normally do it in the masjid, we do it, the many massages do it almost every night, in, uh, in Ramadan. Now, if your salah coincides with Laylatul Qadr, how beautiful is it now? Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sin and forgive us. So, the salah, Jamaat al Muslimin, the salah consists of 300 tasbihs. 300 times you're going to say, Subhanallah wa rahmanullah wa la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah wa rahmanullah wa la ilaha illallah. But the way it is, after the Imam, uh, Says Allah Akbar after the takbir of the haram. Before he starts reciting, you're going to say, you're going to make 10 times, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. The Imam then he will start reciting a surah, and maybe a short surah after that. And then the Imam, before he goes into the court, another 15 times. So that gives you 25. 25 tasbihs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa la ilaha illallah wa la subhanahu wa ta'ala wa la ilaha illallah wa la ilaha 25 times, at least in the standing position. <coughs> then after that, in the rukur, 10 times. In the abdidal, 10 times. In your sujood, 10 times. In the sitting between the sujoods, the two sujoods, 10 times. And the last sujood, 10 times. And when the imam comes up again, then he starts the cycle again. Meaning, he keeps quiet and then again in the standing position. So, in every rakah, you get 75 tasbihs. And this salah, it consists of four rakah. Four rakah. So, your first rakah will be 75, your second rakah will be 75. That will be 150, and four rakah will be 300, inshallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the salah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wipe our face clean. Amen. 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 Amen.